just got our first view of Meteora from the road. Hard to believe that there are monasteries up there. All right, we made it to Rafina and now to Athens. There's a bus right here at the port. I think you can pay when you get on. Athens? So we hit the bus. It's actually super easy. We asked the guy right as we got off the boat and it's just literally straight. Just basically walk out of the boat, slide it to the right, and you'll see a bus and the LED and the kid will say Athens. So I think we're on this for like an hour, hour and a half. But you have to pay after. So but you have to pay. We'll see how much it is. Yeah, good strong arm technique. There's also a bathroom on this bus, so I don't think it's the city bus or a luxury bus. Just like that, we're back in Athens. We have arrived and it is once again warm in Athens, in case we haven't said it enough. Good job. Glistening like Christmas morning. <laughs> Thanks. Back it up. Gotta back out. Oh, look at this. So this is it. This is interesting. Have a little kitchen nook. You have to make sure you don't hit your head on these. Wow. I cannot stand up in the bathroom. No way. Yes, what? Come and see. We gotta be so careful in here. Kitchen too. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself. Is this a, a small place or are we just big humans? I don't know. Bedroom, wow. No small ceilings here. Yeah, we can stand in here, but oh my god. Can we appreciate this tub? Nice job. Beautiful view. Really captures the essence of Athens. <laughs> Especially from this tub, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we're settling in for the night in Athens. This is our last night in Athens. Um, the next time we drive through here, we're going straight to the airport and then we're taking off to Turkey. So drawing Bree a bath right now so she can relax. And I've been hard at work doing this. So any good experienced traveler will tell you that an outlet is probably your biggest enemy on the road. So I've used just about every single thing in this room <laughs> to prop up my charger. But it works. And if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. All right, so we're gonna sign off for the night. Uh, hopefully we make it through and this doesn't create some crazy fire that I'm not thinking about right now. But we'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll show you somewhere very special that we're super excited to go. Good morning. So we are packing up and we're gonna head to Meteora. We survived the night in the tiniest apartment ever. I just walked by the uh, doorway, just to reiterate. You cannot just walk into this thing, it's tiny. Now we're up, ready to go, finishing up some packing, and then we're gonna go pick up our rental car and head to Meteora. <laughs> We just now made it out of Athens and we're realizing that driving in Greece is kind of a free-for-all. It feels like Mario Kart a little bit where nobody really abides by the speed laws and also if there's a double solid line where you can't pass, that means absolutely nothing. People are swerving in and out of lanes, bikes are all over the road. Uh, so we're happy that we're kind of in the countryside now because Jeff was starting to sweat a little bit. Yeah, that's a fact. an hour and eight minutes out from Meteora and a couple minutes ago we realized that Jeff had on a setting on his phone that said avoid highways <laughs> 
So we were wondering why this road trip was taking so long when it wasn't supposed to. Always check your Google map settings. Got our first view of Meteora from the road. Hard to believe that there are monasteries up there. We officially made it to Meteora. Pretty insane little landscape. Trying to get it on the GoPro. And he's driving. I'm filming and navigating. So you all better like this video. <laughs> Time to direct him because uh, we went the wrong way. <laughs> Keep going, you're good. Keep going. Yep, you're still good. Oh my God. <laughs> and then you should be able to make the full turn, right? Let's see. Stop, go back. It is a pain to drive here. The owners of the Airbnb just found us because they heard our car revving and having trouble. So now we're following him. This is not the way Google Maps it. We would have never found this. Never. Beautiful. This is the traditional road going to the moment of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. So the foot is a 35, 40 minutes. Welcome to our accommodation in Meteora. This is our living room. It's pretty small. There's really not much to it, but it is super cute. And it's attached to our kitchen. Sleek, simple, and most important, the coffee maker. And the other big thing with our kitchen is our view. Next to our little kitchen is also our little sitting area. The guy that brought us here, who owns the hotel, brought us these little cookies and these little treats. And can I just say really quickly that the Greek people have been the nicest people by far and we love this country because of it. And this way is our bedroom for the night. So we have a queen size bed, little wardrobe, as well as a TV up here and a little sitting area just in case we need to put our stuff down. Our bags would probably go there. Finally, the bathroom, which is one of the nicest I've seen so far on the trip. It's got a standing shower, lots of mirror, and again, I'm just gonna keep saying this because I love it so much, but natural lighting, or good lighting at least, is key, and this has it. All right, so we've made it here. We chilled out for a little bit, but it's time to get dinner. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, and we cannot wait to show you how incredible Meteor looks. Good morning. So we're in Meteora, the town at least, and we're gonna go up to the monasteries that gave this area its name today. There are only six left of the original 24 monasteries still standing. Today we're thinking that we'll maybe see two or three because supposedly it's, it's a big ask to try and see all six in one day. So they say seeing somewhere between two and four is a good goal. Also there's a risk that a lot of people come here on day trips and the roads get really clogged and there are actually traffic jams on these tiny windy mountain roads between 10 a.m and 4 p.m., which is almost impossible to avoid because most of these monasteries open between 9 and 10 a.m., so you're kind of stuck with the tourists. There's no real way to beat the crowds. If you want to do a sunset, you can drive up there early to go check it out, but if you want to go actually tour the monasteries, you're kind of there with everyone else. The entrance fee to the monasteries is about 3 euros per monastery, and you have to wear appropriate attire. For men, that means no showing your shoulders and no showing your knees, so that means no shorts, no tank tops. Um, for women, kind of the same rules. Even long pants, though, don't really qualify. It has to be a skirt, and it has to be a long skirt. Now, I've heard that they do offer kind of like sarong wraps out front for free. Don't be too worried if you don't have the appropriate clothing, just make sure that your shoulders are covered. So we've settled on about two or three monasteries today that we're gonna go check out. The Monastery of the Holy Trinity is actually made famous by a 1981 James Bond film, for your eyes only. But we're gonna go check out kind of the newest, most modern one, uh, or maybe modern's not the right word, the most kept up one. 
um, which is supposed to be the most beautiful here. So we'll go check that out. Maybe we'll stop at the viewpoint on the way or we'll go back and hit that sunset after the tourist bus leaves. I need to finish my coffee and I need to get ready. That's where we're headed today. We have made it. Looks like we didn't beat the tour bus. What time is it? I don't know, I think it's nine. Nine. So the blogs are right, you can't beat the tour bus. You can never beat the tour, apparently we will never beat the tour bus. <laughs> You know this place is holy because there are all these cute little kitties here. Church chic. This view is really unbelievable and I don't think the camera is going to do it justice. You can see two other ones in the distance right there and there. And our car. All of these require a minimum 100 steps to get up. I would recommend coffee before this. The final approach. Thank you. And dress is okay? Thank you very much. Inside of the monastery, there are also these incredibly well-maintained frescoes on the wall in the back. But unfortunately, there are no cameras or videography allowed of any kind, but these alone made going to Meteor worth it. And now it's time for our coffee break so that we are fully prepared for the next steps at the next monastery. Outside of the Varla Monastery are cute little shops where you can buy souvenirs and this amazing little coffee stand with hot dogs included. So if you need to stop, stop here. And also apparently this monastery has the best and most modern bathrooms. So use them if you get a chance. I actually regret not using one inside and I'm not going back up those steps, so. <laughs> so we just now realized that um, we ran out of space on our SD on this camera, but we do have the GoPro. So for the next monastery, you might just be enjoying views of the monastery to music. I don't know. 
sorry, we're doing our best here, but we're struggling. So um, in terms of audio, we'll probably catch you guys tomorrow, but enjoy the rest of the video. Our climb begins. So just a random fun fact, um, not only is this monastery that we're going to uh, the site of the James Bond film from 1981, but also Meteora as a whole has some other references in pop culture that you might find interesting. The first is that this was the inspiration for Linkin Park's album Meteora, which is one of my all time favorites. And also this was the inspiration for the Eerie in Game of Thrones. All right, we're going, we hear a tour bus. <laughs> Only a hundred more to go. This is how they used to get stuff up here in the old days, like goods. They used to have somebody below and then lower the net and then have them put all the stuff in and put it back up. But now they have a really cool little pulley system. I don't know if you can see the lines, but they go across and you can see them throughout all of the monasteries. <sighs> Mission accomplished. So we're done with that. We're gonna be out of battery. So the last monastery is just gonna be us, but we're hoping to take you guys up here for the sunset uh, tonight. I can get to see a little bit more of this amazing, amazing place. Let's go get brunch. <laughs> All right, uh, so probably no sunset for us tonight because if you look around, it is raining. There's pretty... no sun. All right, we're gonna go try and get some dinner. <laughs> Good night, guys.